Hello everyone, uh, welcome, and in today's episode we're going to be having a look at um, some Fraulein Rebel Tech um, figures. So it's been a long, long time since I looked at the Fraulein Rebel Tech series. Um, the other two I looked at on the show was Haruhi and Yuki Nogito. Um, so which brings to today's episode, we're going to be having a look at one of the girls from Neon Genesis, Evangelion, and her name is Rei Ayanami. So here's Rei Ayanami, and this is the uh, um, bandage version, so as you can probably tell, it's the bandage version of Rei. There is a regular one, um, which is number one, I think, and this is number eight in the series. So let's actually have a look at Rei Ayanari in today's episode. Let's have a look. <laughs> Kirane, Kirane, open up your heart and tell me you love me. We will be together again with you. Just look into your dreams, there you'll find me. Kirane, Kirane, I hope. Hello everyone, welcome to Cute Anime Figure Show, I'm your host, Craig, and in today's episode we're having a look at the Fraulein Revel Tech series, and this is Rei Ayanami from Neon Genesis Evangelion. So anyway, um, it actually has this uh, ELF uh, system, um, I'll read off it here says ELF is a revolution in female action figures and the Frawl and Revel Tech series is um, what does it say here? It says Frawl and Revel Tech is an exciting new series of female action figures so that's pretty much um, what they are and I have Ray Ayanari from the Neon Genesis Evangelion series she is number 8 in the series, there is a regular version, this is the bandage version. So let's actually take a look at her in our very own video review. And also there's some old characters there in the Fraulein Relotex series. So let's actually have a look at Rei Ayanami from the Fraulein Relotex series. Let's have a look. So here we are with the Fraulein Rebel Tech series and this is Rei Ayanami from Neon Genesis Evangelion. So she's number 8 in this series and like I said before um, the only two I have is Harihi in her bunny outfit and also Yuki Nagato in the evil witch outfit. Um, they're the only two Fraulein Rebel Techs I own. So this is kind of the third figure I've got in my collection. Um, they are really quite cheap, really, um, than the Yamaguchi series and the Queen's Blade series as well. Um, but they do vary in price. So anyway, the packaging is pretty simple. Um, you do actually have this banner thing going around here. Um, it's made by Kyoto, um, who makes all the Yamaguchi um, Rebel Tex and stuff, and the sci-fi series, and the Queen's Blade series, but anyway, as you can probably tell, the box design is really nice, it's really simple. Um, you got Ray there, this is the bandage version, I couldn't get the regular version, because uh, it wasn't available. So as you can probably tell, there's a nice photo of her holding, I don't know, this kind of scepter looking thing. You can 
probably see there. Also, it has like this slip here. On the back here for the slip, um, you got all different characters. You got Rei Ainami, Rin Tosaka, Sokla, Ahsoka, Langley Shikinami, um, that girl from Dreams or whatever, Sweet Dreams, that's it. And then you got a couple from, actually more than one from Idol Master. Um, the, these are the black variations and these are the pink versions from Idol Master. Then these are two are a uh, pink and black version of one of the characters from Idol Master as well. Also on the side here we got uh, another character. You got that robot looking guy from Guru Lagan and then some other guy there in the Rebel Tech series. And then you got the Rebel Tech. Um, joint system here. Uh, also I'll show off this at the back here. There's a nice uh, photo of Ray from how she is. But then here's the accessory count here. One um, head, uh, three inch changeable hands, a weapon and a display stand and that's not that's not much. Um, so I essentially get Ray opened up and uh, out of the packaging. Also, it has her name at the top there. And also, underneath it's all those logos and stuff. Um, and also, that's what the back looks like with all different uh, pictures of Ray in different poses. I'm actually pretty excited um, to open Ray. Uh, this is the first time I've owned her in the Revolt Tech series. I do have a Figma version of her, which that was the very first action figure I actually got of Ray. Um, so yeah, let's actually go ahead and open this up. Um, hopefully this review won't be too long. Um, depends if we run into any uh, uh, problems with um, trying to get them to stand and stuff like that. Because I know some are quite difficult to stand up. So, let's try and get this up here. Okay, so what we've got here. So, we've got a whole ton of stuff. Oh, a little booklet. That's uh, pretty nice. I can actually look at that in a few minutes. Um, instruction booklet and. Oh. About some rival type pliers, I sort of think. Um, so I should get this the figure out. Let me just actually pull everything out and put it into the back there. Um, where's the stand? Aha, the stand's there. Okay, I'll build her up in a few minutes. So I'll just show off what what we actually get here. Um, got a little some booklets and stuff. How the joint system works, and uh, here's the um, pliers, the Revo pliers. Um, you probably need these for the Revel Tech line. You don't particularly need them, uh, especially when you're switching out the parts. Sometimes they can be a little bit tough to pull the arms and legs off. Um, that's when they come in handy, like I'm showing you there, and stuff like that, um, indentations here, instructions how to do with that. Pretty nice they included that, um, for when you start. Okay, this silver one here, I'm things here. This silver one here is a little booklet of what you can actually get in the Revel Tech series. Uh, there's different ones. So as you can see here, for all the Revel Techs, there's different ones here. Idol Master, then there's these others here. Then these like the regular Revel Tech series, just the regular ones. Uh, pretty cool indeed. Um, here's what that looks like there. And then also, yet again, it's showing off the Revolution series. Then this uh, assemble bog looking bloke here. 
Um, and then there's the Street Fighter uh, Rebel Techs here, the SOF um, series, the Street Fighter Online um, Mouse Generation series is those. There's the um, yeah the Revolution series is pretty much uh, the Fist of the North Star series. And then there's some other Rebel Techs here. Oh, there's that bloke from Guru Lagan again. And a couple of uh, other guys from this Detroit series, I think. Pretty cool. We'll take a look at this guy here um, as soon as we can, because I actually do know he's available. So, we might see a review for that. And here's the thing for the joints again. Um, so, I thought really nice instruction. Well, a live book there. Okay, moving along to the actual uh, figure, um, it's pretty simple. She's packaged in this um, black um, box here, and as you can probably tell, this thing actually joins together because it's in two pieces. Three inch changeable hands um, for Ray, and uh, no interchangeable facial expression with another head. And let's actually get these off here. This is where the stand is actually packaged. Um, okay, I'll just move my camera down here. This should be really easy to put together. I um, can't remember the last time I actually opened one of these. Um, I'll get the figure out in a minute or so. Just want to get this stand out and everything. So I can open those here. This time it's actually in white. Um, so, I've got tape on here. I don't know, I think. Just gonna run it through there like that. Gonna push this out here. That I would decide there out of the road. Um, I'll just get everything out, then I can build the stand up. Then um, I've got some tape here at the side of the box, just as usual. Sometimes, sometimes there is tape on them, sometimes there isn't. Just do it here with the tape. And here, there we go. Then we can actually get to the figure itself. And there we go. Like I said before, you don't get a great deal, um, especially some of them you do get quite a lot of figures, um, accessories, but some you don't. There's another piece here. Um, this is very thin. Indeed. You can see here that's very thin. And also it does plug in. Yeah, but um, I'll attach that to the hand or whatever. So you can probably tell it's in purple. I think the other one was in red, I think. Um, Getting these hands out here. I got like a hand accessory there. And another one. I think these are pretty much for the other arm. Um, yeah, for that other arm, I just think. The other arm. So you don't get any hands for this other arm here. And um, you get another. Head here. Now the Frollin Relotech series is pretty much similar to the uh, the Figma line with the uh, interchangeable facial expressions and heads and stuff like that. Um, similar. Um, okay, there's nothing in there now. 
uh, it's been a while since I actually had uh, one of these. It's just been such a long time. But, um, Okay, I just slip that off from the figure. Sometimes they have quite a lot of layers of plastic between them. Um, it's just to protect the figure itself. Um, okay, here's Ray. Um, there she is. Really nice. Get a good look at that facial expression there. Really cool, indeed. Um, really nice. That uh, bit tight here. Um, as you can probably tell, you got those funny joints that go backwards and forwards like that. Like that. You can hear the clicking in the joints. Um, and also here's that um, ugly butt joint type thing going on here. Like to explain with Harhi, um, it's not very nice to see that um, it's there. Uh, you see, it actually goes right up there. The shoes are very nicely detailed and, and stuff. So you can hear the clicky joints. They're so really cool indeed. There's no articulation in this arm piece, it's just one solid piece. Um, so that's the only pose you can actually get it. There is some arm articulation here, um, and it does swivel there. She's actually got this big. Um, cast on her arm for one of the episodes or oh, it's from the movie I think um, so as you can probably tell it does go upwards like that and it does bend and it does swivel like that um, so it's pretty cool indeed look at this uh, thing there Really nicely detailed on a suit, on a plug suit. Got a really nice, good articulation here in the middle section, in the waist. Um, she does have thigh cuts. You can probably tell here she has thigh cuts. Um, yet again, that's just one joint. It goes right back like that. And then you can actually get it to go outwards. Um, just really some nice detailing going on that you got zero zero there. Um really love the detail on here, you got the bandages and stuff. Um that's so uh, and the hand is actually removable. So this piece looks like it's really tight. So I'll have to watch that later on. Now let's actually look at some of the accessories here. Um, I'll build this stand up in a few minutes. So here's the extra face. You can probably tell. She's got her eye open there and eye bandaged up. Um, as you can probably tell there, you can put the stand in there. Um, not the stand, but the over the neck joint. Um, can probably switch it out, I think. Um, but it looks like it's really tough, so I don't think you can actually pull this piece off. The piece off. Nope, no you can't. So that's quite different. Now, for the hands, as you can probably tell, um, these are like rubber, rubberish um, there. So you can actually prise them open and get some in there. And these all do fit on this other arm, on this one, where the hand is at exposed as you can probably see here they all fit on there I'll show that off later on she does uh, have an open palm hand um, and also she does have a 
slight open, closed hand there, slight. And here's the stand piece, and as you can probably tell, it's like a triangular stand, and yeah, it's square. And it does say for all iron rebel tech, Ayanami Ray from Neon Genesis Evangelion. And it just um, has the show logo there, um, you know, licensing logo and stuff. Pretty cool. And for all iron rebel tech on the back and stuff like that. Um, this actually does peg into here. Um, well, I'll actually set this up here. These relative joint thing. These actually work out really fine. Um, it's really nice that they've put it in um, in this nice uh, white um, to how Ray is. Actually, just clips in here like there. You can probably tell it's like shaped to fit in there. So it's actually shaped. So you actually probably have to turn that around. Which is on a rebel tech joint, I think. Yep, there is. Um so yeah, really cool indeed. Can actually uh, don't know how probably can actually clip this down. Um, because kind of wants to. There we go. She kind of looks like she's up in midair. Um, kind of walking around in midair there. Um, it's quite tight, unless you want to. Uh, Put that around her neck, and that kind of looks odd and weird. Um, so, I essentially get to switch out the hands and stuff like that. Um, I'll switch out the head first. So, it's just a uh, much effect of uh, pulling the joint out here. Oh, nearly. It's kind of awkward. I'm trying to get this out here. So yeah, it is really awkward to get this joint out. If you please excuse me for a few minutes, I will take this peg out of the head. Um, and once I've got it on the other figure head, I'll leave that one on. Just ignore the noise in the back. It's kind of hard to get uh, out here. There we go. I got that out there, and I'll actually attach it to this one. So it kind of feels awkward trying to get that actually in there. But once you kind of get the peg to actually fit into the head part, then you'll have no problem um, getting it in. Should I put the head on there and then it will actually connect it right in. So there you go. She's actually connected there. Looks pretty good. Uh, I think I prefer her with this head on there where she's got her eye open. Because the other one's bandaged up. And the other one actually has the same exact thing, often with the eye closed. You can probably tell. Um, what am I going to do here? So it looks like we're going to actually switch the hand 
of here. Same brittle type joint thing going on here. Which that kind of just pulls out. Um, it is quite awkward to try and switch the hands out, I should say. There we go, that's actually popped out there. Um, I'm actually going to actually have the uh, this hand on here. Um, so, like I said, it's really awkward. Yeah, it is very awkward to put these on. Um, like I said, I haven't had one of these in a long time. So that's kind of tight going on there. So let's show you get that in here. Put that in there. This is kind of now loose a little bit, I think. Hope that's all in there. So um, try to get that on there. So this actually does become incredibly loose, um, but it's nothing to worry about. Uh, let's actually get that pole in in her arm, in her arm, in the hand. Um, so all you do is just do that. Um, actually, screw this piece on here. Um, There'll probably be a certain way it goes in, I should think. There we go. So, yeah, this is um, a very large um, spear looking weapon. Indeed, it is. So, alright, come on. I recommend having it like that if you're going to have her on the stand because uh, you can probably tell it's very, very large indeed. Um, probably see it and tell it's very large. So I kind of have it like that, I should think. Let's actually get her on the stand, um, if we can actually do that. Um, actually have this stand piece down. Like that. And actually have that thing so actually down and then have it up there. The figure. So she is actually on stand there. Um, she's not actually firmly um, on the ground 
Yeah, that's pretty much one of the things I can probably say here. Um, let's actually get her to actually stand down. Um, a little bit. I actually have to uh, bring this down up down, I should think. I uh, bring down ones. I know sometimes it is very, very awkward to um, get to stand on the figure. Indeed. So I do actually know how awkward it is um, to actually get it to work out. Oops. She's not on the board. So I get it to stand here. So Actually, get this to angle down. I should think. Um, it is quite tight. Understand? It is. It is incredibly tight. Um, <laughs> up in the air there. Uh, actually, get it. No, she's still in the air. Try and play around with this um, a little bit so I can actually get it to uh, stand perfect on there. So, the probably only way you can probably do this is actually have it around the neck, and I think it just looks uh, terrible. Um, when you've got them around the neck there, that's pretty much the only way I can probably think of. Uh, so let's kind of get it. All right, excuse me for a few minutes. So I'll see if we, there is actually something that we can do um, to help out. I'm gonna Google this um, to help me out here. This stand. So it's, So there's a different version of her, I know that um I had to do you actually get to stand to actually work on her. Um as I uh, to work. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Um that stand works here. So let's actually try and do this. Um, it will just go like that, I just think, um, around her. I'm 
Man, this is a really tight stand. I just think it's really tight. I'm trying to get it to uh, stand downwards. Because it looks like she's up in midair here. Like that. Um, it's the possibly the only way I can probably think of having her. You can get all crazy poses going on. Um, you can probably get it to do that if you want. Um, so yeah, it's kind of really awkward because uh, of this stand here. Um, that's one of the things I can probably say. It's really an awkward joint. Um, Trying to get it down is pretty hard. Um, all I can think of doing is doing this and actually angle it down, which is the only thing I can probably think of. Um, hope you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Um, I'm actually trying to get it to sit on a stand. Should I stand up? Um, so I know that this is quite a hard stand piece and just doesn't want to uh, go in this direction here. It just wants to uh, actually clip around her. But in an awkward uh, position, I think. Um, if you give me a few minutes, I'll actually get her actually on the stand currently. So, as you can probably tell, I've got Rei Ayanami from the Fallen Rival Tech series on her display stand. Um, I can't kind of get her to, for her feet to fit on the uh, base. Uh, you know, flat, but I actually got her on a stand, so uh, this is it's kind of up in midair. Um, I have the same type of problems with Haruhi and Yuki Nagato. Um, but if you can look past that, um, you can actually get them. The only way I can get her feet to be really flat on a stand is if I have the real tech. Um, you know, the clip around her neck, which kind of looks um, terrible. But overall, she is really poseable. Um, I really do like the uh, outfit. Uh, it's got this nice uh, pearlized uh, white finish on the uniform there, and the plug suit. So, as you can probably tell, she has this great big um, staff or this spear looking thing in a hand. Um, if you see that pointing downwards on the display, uh, that's how I'm going to display her. As you can probably tell, she looks fantastic display. Um, so as you can tell, she looks great. Um, the display stand actually uh, blends in well with uh, her uniform. As you can probably tell. It's pretty cool. Um, so this is the bandage version of Rei Ayanami from the Four Line Revel Tech series. Uh, she is number eight in the series, by the way. If I didn't mention that, um, but the detail on her is absolutely tremendous. Uh, if I can I zoom in here, at the face it's tremendous. As you can see, really, really beautiful. The arm cast there is really well sculpted. Um, you can probably tell her outfit is really nice. And that 
spear looking uh, staff is very long indeed um, luckily you don't point somebody in the face with it um, or another figure uh, aim it down I should think when you have it on display or aim it upwards if you can actually get her on display like that um, overall she's just a great figure really nice to pose she doesn't come with very many accessories other than uh, extra head which that's the one what we've got on the figure itself um, I really do like what they've um, put on the stand which is the name of the series the name of the figure itself uh, the character from the show and also the name of the show itself where it says from Neon Genesis Evangelion and uh, it says Ayanami Ray on there which is really cool um, so overall uh, I'm going to jump into my final thoughts here I'll just put the box here in the back yeah, like I normally do so overall um, if you look past uh, some of the problems where you can actually can't get her feet firmly on the stand she's kind of up in midair uh, if you can look past all that and uh, switching out the hands um, well this, the other hand there um, it's quite tight to actually switch them out um, getting the weapon in her hand is no problem at all um, she looks really good um, as you could probably see there earlier, I showed you the um, the joints at the back, and they kind of looked really odd and weird. Uh, I, I've seen that on my Haruhi figure and Yuki. Um, well, they're not bad figures at all. Um, they're decent uh, size figures. Um, so yeah, do I recommend for all Iron Rebel Tech? Uh, Ray Ayanami, uh, Bandish version. Uh, yeah, I do. Um, even though she don't come with very many accessories, um, the variation of her, the I think it's the series number one, I think, because um, this is number eight in the series. Um, she just has the plug suit, normal, and as you can probably tell, she had. You can see her arms and stuff like that because um, this is like a bandage version of her uh, once again I'll just show you from the back here if I can just uh, put the box right over here so the spear looking weapon doesn't poke it or anything so as you can probably tell there at the back um, you can probably see it's very long and it is a really weird fit for the stand um, so yeah uh, Rei Ayanami is available now She's, this series is a pretty cheap series um, not too cheap like but uh, uh, compared to the uh, Yamaguchi series um, she is a very nice figure definitely uh, give her a chance um, if you ever get Rei Ayanami um, she's just a fantastic for all Iron Rebel Tech series I'll probably take a look at more of these uh, if I get time to have a look um, so overall just a really fantastic figure um, the articulation is quite good really interesting um, so overall I definitely recommend picking her up if you're a fan of Rei Ayanami from Evangelion. And that's pretty much it. Uh, overall, let's go to our display video and I'll show you her on display uh, with the other two. So, overall, great figure. Nice display stand as well, but um, you'll probably find that you'll have problems with trying to get her feet flat on the base. And that's pretty much, um, I don't know how it is with some of the other ones, but uh, it kind of seems to be the same thing like Haruhi and Yuki Nagato and um, some of the others. Because with Yuki, you kind of have to put the uh, stand right around her neck and it kind of doesn't look great. 
um, at all. But overall, still a good figure. Definitely check out Ray Ayanami, bandage version. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can come and have a look at more of these uh, for all Iron Rebel Tech series figures in many more episodes to come for cute anime figure show. Until next time, take care, everybody. Arigato and Sayonara. Until next time. We have Rei Ayanami from Neon Genesis Evangelion on the For All Iron Rebel Tech series. And as you can probably tell, I have other Rebel Tech figures on display. Some from the Yamaguchi series and some from the regular series and also some from the Revolution line and a min mini figure as well in here. So as you can probably tell Ray has the same stands as Haruhi and Nagato there and also she has that spear thing observing both of them here you can tell it's really long like there it goes really long there and she looks great on display, so until next episode, I'll see you very soon. Arigato and sayonara. Until then. Till the next episode.